play some hoops later. Oh, you're so <laughs> right. Go get a mask before you show up. How's it going? Just fine. Miss Evie, this is my very good friend, Mr. Pavel. Hello, Mr. Mm -hmm. Pavel. Uh, hello, little lady. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing fantastic. Nice mask. Thank you. I like yours too. Thanks. So where are we going? Towards Humane Labs. Okay. So do you are the little one that uh, this doctor has been telling me about. She told me about me? Yeah, she talks about you and how brilliant you are. I'm not that smart. I'm kind of, I'm, okay, I'm kind of smart. I'm like a little smart. No, I think you need to give yourself more credit, young lady. You, uh... I'm a prodigy and I'm a child genius. Hmm, how old are you? And humble. Eighteen-ish. Eighteen? No, I wouldn't really call yourself a uh, young child at that point, though. Hey, you're more like an adult. Yeah, something like that. Then again, I did a lot of shit when I was sixteen, so it doesn't matter. Mr. Pavel here is going to help me with some of my work. So you may see him around more often. Like, research and stuff? Yes. And stuff. Um, basically, she needs some uh, assistance with uh, certain things that uh, she doesn't have access to. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the equipment, that kind of shit. And I'm pretty good at that. Like what? Uh, like acquiring certain like laptops and stuff like that. She, I'm more of her tech guy, I guess. Is so you're her secretary. I'm... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Oh. I mean, it, uh, it kind of sounds like what what you do though. You go get her things and you bring her coffee too. Absolutely not. She uh -oh. can do that herself. No, I mean, it'd I, be uh... a nice gesture. Mr. Pavel, can I go get some coffee? Absolutely not. You can go get your own. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I do uh, the tech side, mainly. Oh, okay. I get the certain databases and shit. That's cool. Yeah. Good at extracting information. We're going to Humane Labs. I figure it's a good place to go to. No way. It's always quiet up there, so we can have that conversation you wanted to have. And that works. So how long has Mr. Pavel worked for you? Mm, worked with me. Worked Not with you. We've done a few jobs in the past together. Uh, yes, uh, we helped with uh, some... All uh, humanitarian aid, obviously. Yeah, we helped with when uh, that... Uh, um, what was it? Oh, shit. How do you pronounce it again, Doctor? Uh, Ebola? Right? Is that what it's called? Indeed. Uh, that, that, that was going around. Uh, I, we helped out with that. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Miss Evie, can I ask you a favor, though? Yeah? What's that? Uh, I'm, I'm very shy, and I don't really like to talk to a whole lot of people, so if you can make it uh, where we didn't really have a whole lot of conversations here today, that would be perfect. I like to stay oh. quiet. 
So don't talk to you? No, I want you to talk to me, but uh, don't tell people that you talk to me. Got it. Definitely didn't talk to the guy in the creepy mask in the car. Exactly. This mask is creepy. This isn't creepy. It's creepy. I told him not to wear it. It's creepy. He looks sickly, doesn't he? Sound like cool. that. What? I thought that looked cool. Doesn't that look cool? It looks interesting. We didn't have to go I just too far in. Bought it from the little uh, mask place, so that I just was like, I want to wear it because uh, I'm pretty ugly, unfortunately. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk about, Miss Evie? Mr. Pavel, would you mind just making sure nobody comes through the garage door? Of course. Thank uh, you. Just give me two seconds. Do you know an Alec Mason? Uh, do I know an Alec Mason? Me? I'm sorry, Doctor, my bad. Uh, can you repeat what you wanted? Do you mind just watching the garage door and make sure nobody comes through the loading bay? Okay. I should put up a show to that, right? He's interesting. Isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> How long have you known him? That's a gun. You can never be too careful. Especially here, honestly. Mm hmm Especially since we're going to be stealing some of their equipment. That's true, too. Um, procuring their equipment. Are we? Procuring. Procuring. Pro yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I've known him for quite a few years now. He's efficient. Ugh. I have a problem. I have an annoying problem. And what's this annoying problem? My dad doesn't want me to work on my, my research. And why not? Because he thinks it's... Mm, he just doesn't want me to do it. But... I want to. Well, of course you do. <sighs> I'm starting to... In the first thing part, it's just like... I'm starting to think I figured out how I might go about the second half. But... Oh. He doesn't want me to test it on anyone because he thinks I might hurt somebody. But I'm not going to hurt anybody. I know what I'm doing. I mean, mostly. <laughs> Is there any chance that this drug would hurt someone? I mean, there's always a chance. Are you willing to take that chance? I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. And what if you're wrong and you hurt somebody? Is it worth it? What if I tested on bad people? Only bad people? Maybe. And who decides what's bad and what's good? I don't know. 
Would you be the one to decide? I don't know. But I don't want to stop my research. But you need test subjects. Yes, that's the problem. I can't do it without them. But I also promised I wouldn't do it. So now I'm in a whole dilemma. Sounds like it. I don't know what to do. What do well, I do? Well, I did offer to help in the past, did I not? Yes. I'm sure I can find some people that would be willing to try these out. Mm. I said willing. I didn't say I would force it down their throats. Mm. You think you can find the right kind of person, though? I think we can. Or we can make them the right kind of person. But that's... We would have to hurt them. It's not good. And if they were a bad person? How bad are we talking? I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Dr. Vet, the uh, one shipment came in. Which one? Uh, the one on the, uh, the ship. Let me look at the look at the database. Um, that one uh, batch of uh, chemicals that you needed, shit like that, and that one big, uh, larger target that you wanted. Oh yes, we'll have to move that one carefully. Yes, I just wanted to. Wonderful. I apologize, my sir, but uh, what was it again? Evie? Evie. Uh, I apologize, Matt. That's okay. I will get to it. That's where you have to ask your own <laughs> questions this evening. Is it worth everything? Is it worth hurting somebody if they deserved it? Is it worth testing on someone, possibly causing more damage? I want to help people. Is it worth it? It's a yes or no question. Yes. Here it is. That's what I wanted to hear. Now, you have to answer a question for me, Miss Evie. Okay. This medicine isn't just for anybody. It's not to help people in general. Nobody would agree to do something like you're trying to do for people in general. It's a personal investment, so... Who is it? That you want to cure so badly. A friend. Nobody does this kind of work for a friend. A really good friend. Miss Evie, if we're going to work together on this kind of project, I need you to be honest with me. I've been nothing but honest with you. It's someone that matters to me. I could tell that. I just... <laughs> it's somebody I have to help, okay? Someone that lives in that big old house that you showed me? Maybe. So a family member? Possibly. A parent? I care about. We 
you can leave it there. It's a very good thing that you're doing, Miss Evie. I mean, I'm not. I don't know. I think it is. It is. But I don't understand why everybody thinks seems to think it's not. They don't understand. It's not their fault. They can't comprehend it like you can. They don't see things the way I see things. They don't understand. And they probably won't. No matter how much you try to explain it to them. You ever feel like you don't get understood or people try to think for you or don't really listen? Oh, my child prodigy all the freaking time. Exactly. And they're not going to understand whether they don't want to, don't try to, or just can't comprehend it due to a lack of ability. What you're doing is the right thing. If you believe you can solve a crisis in the world, and it helps someone close to you as well, but if you believe you can solve this problem, then you should do it. And no one should be able to stop you. I know I can do this. I know I can figure it out. And I know I can help her. I know I can. I just need any time. I need any resources and I need test subjects. Uh, volunteers. Volunteers. Yeah. Paid volunteers. Hmm. Willing volunteers, how about that? Willing volunteers. It can be arranged. <laughs> I feel like this is... I, mm. It's making you uncomfortable because you haven't thought about it. Or you have thought about it, but you don't like that you agree with me. I thought about it, I just didn't think it would... I, I thought it would be longer before I got to this point. And by then I would have figured it out. What to do. How about, I, how about I offer something to you that'll make things a lot easier for you? What? You continue to do your work. You provide me with the... samples. Okay. I'll take care of the testing, collect the results and the data, and send it back to you. You don't have to worry about how I get it. You don't need to see the volunteers, or see their names, or see the waivers, or do any of the paperwork. All you get is the raw data back. I won't mess with any of your formulas. I won't touch them, I won't add to them, I won't remove anything from them. But if I don't see it... What if I miss something? You don't trust me. I do. I trust you. But what if you miss something? Miss Evie, that's very unlikely. Mm. It's that degree of separation that will keep you comfortable in this whole endeavor. <laughs> allow you to continue to work and you won't have to worry about lying to your father. You get straight data as if it's a simulation. No one's ever the wiser. I did tell him I might just use a computer program. Here's but I don't like program. lying to him. I don't want to lie to him. I just... Maybe I'll do what they do. And just... Admit the whole truth. Not tell everything. That's you do that all well. the time. That's an option as well. Hmm. Okay. You give me that data, and I'll figure out the rest of it. I do hate to bring it up, but... As you mentioned, there may need some payment for some of these volunteers. 
I so. can figure that out. I have money. I have a lot of money. Very well. Or I'll just borrow money from my dog. That's a strange comment. Yeah, my dog is rich. My dog has like 200 k It gets a paycheck for going on duty. Hmm. That's weird. Interesting. Yeah. Well. If you'd like that kind of work, a little bit of payment along with the tows allows me to procure a paid volunteer to make sure that they receive what they're owed. All right. If that would make you feel better. No oh, way. Sorry. Somebody is around I haven't seen in a really long time. Anyway. I want to do this. I need to do this. I need... I have to. It may be the only way that you get any kind of solution. No okay. Do you trust me, Miss Evie? I trust you. I do. You find the volunteers. And I'll figure the rest out. Very good. I'm sure I can find plenty of volunteers. People are always willing to do about anything for a little bit of extra cash. That's for sure. Especially in those Santos. <laughs> but it can't be hobos. It has to be somebody not on drugs and not it needs to be a better control. And it needs to be It'll be done in a sterile environment. I'll be sure to do a physical before we do any kind of testing on the drug so that it's nice and clean. If there's anything in their system, I'll make sure it's taken care of. Okay. All right, that'll I, work. I believe I have a starting point. Hmm. Where are you going to do it, though? I have a few locations that I think we can use for such things. It's best that you don't know, though. Again, simulation. Right. Got it. Everything's on the computer. Nothing's real. All simulated. Got it. I think it's not going to all fit into one pill. I didn't think it would. Probably a series. Perhaps injections. I think multiple. And I think it has to be liquid. Injection or swallowed? I don't know yet. Probably an injection. Or IV drip. Hmm. That's also possible. Right into the vein. Yeah. Most direct sores. I need... Uh, I need... I need information! I don't... Yeah. I'll send you I the have... first batch that I have, and... We'll see Very how it well. goes. Miss Evie, mm -hmm. I have no doubt that you're going to figure this out. I hope so. I just hope I do the first two right. We'll figure it out. I've never met anyone that I would consider my intellectual equal before. And that I goes for that two term. of us. <laughs> it's appreciated. Same. Most people don't like me in our field. They get jealous, or they get annoyed, or they They're get short -sighted. mad, or they, I don't know, don't like me. 
They're short-sighted and don't see a gifted individual when they see one. Most think the same about me. Well, maybe not annoyed, but nervous, frightened. Someone to be avoided. I don't know maybe why. I like you. I'm a pretty good judge of character. Usually. Most of the time. Well, then maybe you see something others don't. Probably. Oh, I have that other thing you wanted. Oh? I found it. I know where I put it. Oh, wonderful. It's in harmony. We can go get it if you want. That'd be wonderful. Okay. Do we have time now? Yeah. Well, then let's go pick up Mr. Pavel. Okay. I'm sure he'll be most thrilled. Come along, Mr. Pavel. Miss Evie has a gift for you. It's for him? I think he'll like it just as much as I will. No way. Can the door move any slower? Did you wonderful ladies have a nice talk? Indeed. That is good. Uh, doctor, one of my guys uh, is uh, also uh, required uh, the. Uh, oh shit, what is it called? How do you pronounce? Um, stethoscope? Is that what it's called? You mean the shipment of stethoscope? Yes. Very well. Has the microscopes been delivered by any chance? Uh, yes, that is uh, also at the uh, being uh, grabbed as well. Uh, I apologize, Miss uh, Evie, that uh, my English sometimes is not too great. That's okay, I think you talk pretty good English. I, I try. We should learn other languages. Probably would be good at it. Oh, well, if no you ever want it. to learn something, yeah, just let me know. I can teach you a little bit of Russian if you want. Oh yeah, I'd love to learn it. Well, of course. That could be useful. Yeah, then you can maybe understand Mr. Pavel better. <laughs> Well, what are you talking about? I, it's not like I'm speaking in 24-7. Do I prefer to speak my length of language? Of course. Why don't you say a little something for Miss Evie? Yeah, yeah, say something. Okay, what the... Uh, let, me, let me think. Ah, we'll do the most simplest. Do you know what the comrade is in the Russian? Friend? Yes. Do you know how, how, they, how we say it? No. We say it Tavarish. Tavarish. Mm-hmm. Cool. That is exactly what it is. Uh, you know the classic where everybody, you know, the, you know, the whole saying, ah, uh, comrade, comrade, like, we, yeah. we really don't say that all the time, it's just stereotypical bullshit. We <laughs> say it about it. What? Yeah. Mm. What? Very interesting. What's another word? Bushmoy. What's that one? Means well, like surprised. Oh. There's a multiple meaning. 
<laughs> also can kind of mean bullshit. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, give me a minute. Drink it. Public over here. Let's go find a different spot. Oh. No, get out of the car. <laughs> You can't drive with a mask on. Get out of my seat. Do you want the present or not? Yes, yes Grover. Yes. Got to make things so difficult, Doctor. I swear. Thank you. <laughs> She's a giant pain in my keister. <laughs> Apparently, she can drive with her hands up, apparently. That is just interesting. All right. I was You're driving with your knees? You know what? He's multi talented. <laughs> oh, that is good to know. See, she surprises me every day on the CV. I'm sure, anywhere in Sandy would be fine. Pretty much here. It's right next to the rocks, and most people don't ever come over here. You read my mind. I don't have any ammo for it, though. We can handle that. Oh. Here. There's a bird? <laughs> I'm Thank you, Miss Evie. You're welcome. Uh, do you want to know another word? Yeah, what's another one? Uh, Mishka. What's that one mean? It means teddy bear. I like that one. That one's cute. Of course. Or little bear, or little one. It's I like the, it. It's, a, it's an form of endearment. So, like for instance, for you, young man, I would uh, Miss Evie Mishka. <laughs> I approve. I like it. Are you I'm sure you want him to have this? Why don't you give it to me first? Okay. I'll give it to him if he, you know, doesn't act up. Doesn't act up, is it? Right? See what I gotta do with little Evie? She's always just... I try my best to entertain her and like, help her out. Just don't came from. Of course not. Alright, Miss Evie. I'm sure you have other people to go talk to this evening. Where I would do. you like me to drop you off? This is actually fine. I'm good here. You sure? 
positive. I know who I'm calling. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm, I'm hearing buzzards flying around. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I'm good. I promise. Very well. When you have that first shipment and the payment, let me know. Okay. So mm. we can procure the test subject. Give me volunteer. Give me a couple. Give me like a week, and then we should be good. A week it is. All right. Thank you. Goodbye, little Mishka. It was nice meeting you, Pavel. Of course, you too, young lady. And you stay safe, all right? You too. Bye. I'll turn the stream so I can watch this. <laughs>